An RHS teacher is recognized for their work. And more alternative program graduations. All today on On the Air. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. So what? Confusing me. Clouds as mean as you've ever seen. And a bird knows your truth. Then a little voice inside you whispers. It's your boy, Ed May. It's your Dre Head Melly. Yesterday, Richmond Community School was recognized teachers from across the district for their outstanding work. The, cere the ceremony culminated with the naming of the RCS Teacher of the Year, and this year's winner was one of our own at RHS. The Richmond Community School's 2017 Teacher of the Year is Heidi Hisrich. Now, Heidi Celeste warned you about this part, so would you like to say a few words? <laughs> no, not to put you on the spot or anything. <laughs> well, I'm not really sure who nominated me. I asked a couple people and they said they didn't, so that was awkward. <laughs> um, <laughs> but whoever did, thank you. That was very nice and I'm very honored. And there's no other community that I would rather live in and no other school I'd rather teach in, so thank you. As we get closer to the end of the year, more RHS seniors are finishing up their alternative program, including two more yesterday. It's my honor and privilege to announce to you the latest 2017 graduate from Richmond High School, Ms. Nina Phoenix. Now let's take a look at some of the announcements. More final meetings of the year and taking in a movie with the RHS climate changes next week. All students going on the biomedical tour of Europe will have the final meeting of the year today from 3.30 to 4.15 in the conference room across the cafeteria. The Richmond Boys and Girls Club will be holding a teen night on Friday, May 19th from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Dream Court in Clear Creek Park. It's open to teens 13 to 18 years old and there will be food, competitions, and cash prizes. Creative Writing Club will be holding their last meeting of this year today. If you have any questions, see Miss Winners. The Climate Changers will be hosting a movie tomorrow night, and the movie is Moana. All students are welcome to attend and catch some positive vibes during this stressful time of the year. Please join us in the third floor lecture hall from 8, 5.30 to 7.30 for a movie and snack. Wear your favorite sweats, jammies. Any questions, ask a climate changer. Follow us at Red Devil Warmth. The last meeting of the GSA for this year is tomorrow in Ms. Kitchell's room, L13. If you have any questions, speak with Ms. McFarland in the counselor's office. The sophomore class is collecting box tops for education to raise money. Turn your box tops in to either Mr. Lambright in room R255 or Ms. Rayburn's room R318. With your RHS announcements, I'm Dante Redmond. It's still cool, it's still rainy. Let's see if we get any change. Still can see some rain as we try to get past this wet week. For today, we can see some cloudy skies with chances at some rain. Highs will be back up in the mid-70s and lows close to 60. Tomorrow doesn't look too good as we can see some thunderstorms roll into our area and will continue on throughout the day. 
Highs will be in the lower 70s and lows right around 50. Come back with me to check on Friday to see how everything turns out. I'm Greg Lyons. The rain caused problems last night with a few RHS sports, but there was also some action on Monday, so let's see how everyone did. Baseball and softball rainouts in one winter sport getting ready for next year. Let's take a look at sports. RHA softball finally got to play their first game of the NCC tournament on Monday as they hosted Logan Sport, and it didn't take long to move on, beating the Berries 8-2. Becca Johnston pitched a complete game, and Brooklyn Vickers added offense going 3-4 for four with a double, a trip, and knocking two RBIs. Next up for RHS in the tournament will be another home game this Saturday at 10 a.m. against McCutcheon. RHS Baseball found out who they'll face in the next round of the NCC tournament. The Red Devils will play this Saturday at home against Muncie Central starting at 10 a.m. as well. And as a tune-up, the Red Devils faced Union County on Monday and split a doubleheader, winning the first game 7-4 but falling in the second 7-0. Rain had its way with a few matches this week already, and both the, girls, both the girls' tennis matches scheduled for last night and tonight have been canceled. And as we wrap up sports, a reminder for any girl interested in playing basketball next year, you need to see Coach P in room 230 or Coach Hillard in room 234 to get a June schedule. Also, there will be a parent meeting at 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday, May 17th in, in the McConnell Room. That's sports on Big Al. As we wrap up today, we want to let you know that we will not have a show this Friday due to finishing up our 21st Century Skills presentations. And as we go through the rest of this year, we'll have a few more days where we won't have shows to take care of some end of the year video productions, including two days next week. We'll see you again on Monday next week. And as we leave you here, here's a look at some of the new teachers who are retiring from Richmond Community Schools this year, including some of your favorites from right here at RHS. Holla back. Have a great Today, day. Today, we also celebrate and recognize our retirees. We also humbly say farewell to outstanding educators, mentors, and friends. Please come forward when I call your name. Gary Weir, Richmond High School. <laughs> Dan Norris, Test Intermediate. <laughs> Sally Barton, Test Intermediate. <laughs> Barb Ramsey, Richmond High School. <laughs> Karen Boley, Charles Elementary. Mary Lynn Bond, Star Elementary. Jack Hughes, Richmond High School. Kay Coger, Richmond High School. Jeff Thorne, Civic Hall. Bob Erbs, Test Intermediate. Debbie and Bill Campbell from Central Office and Dennis Intermediate. <laughs> Diane, you really needed to sit on the end. <laughs> Diane Hughes, Hibbard and Star Elementary. <laughs> Jane Moss, Fairview and Crest Elementary.
And just to reassure all of you water aerobics fans, uh, Jane has assured me that water aerobics will continue into retirement. <laughs> Linda Isom, Richmond High School. <laughs> Jay McCrow, Richmond High School. <laughs> Leah Hoffman, Richmond High School. <laughs> and last, but certainly Certainly, not least, Richard Bryant, Dennis Intermediate. <laughs> Let's give a standing ovation to all of our retirees.